Sorry I'm late, I just don't give up. Where have you been? I wonder how much a chair would have cost me. While you were on your way here, Eddie said he was disappointed in the country of Ireland. What do you think about that? I don't give a what Eddie says. Who gives a The Irish are back. We've taken back control of New York City. I run New York City. I'm a pimp. Rocking Gucci Mink. And without me, this whole ship sink. Robert Exum, just had a five round battle with Nate Diaz and a short turnaround. Are you ready for this fight? I'm fresh, ready to go. I look forward to I'm gonna shoot this man up, trust me on that. Is there any truth to the um, idea that you wanna retire after this fight or are you gonna take time off? I'm only warming up. He's I'm gonna only have warming to. up. He's gonna have I'll to. take all them belts. I'll take all them belts over there. Where were you, why, why the lateness? I operate on my time. I operate on my own time. And I'm running early on my time. It's a huge event here at UFC 205, prior to UFC 202. You said your legacy is set in stone after Jose crumbled. What does this fight mean for your legacy? This just puts it in, this just puts it even more in stone. That second belt, never been done. No one's even came close. No one's even attempted it. So that's it, my legacy. I'll be immortalized after this one. No, I came for an apology from him. I want an apology for saying my wife and kids. Suck these big Irish b****. Hey, hey, if you don't apologize, then I'm gonna make them beg. I'm gonna give you a chance to apologize. You apologize to me. These big Irish b all in your face. Then it's done, then it's done. Just to clarify, would you ever move up to welterweight and try and get a third belt, if you could? All the belts. You said at the initial press conference that they're going to need an army to get rid of the second belt. UFC continues to say that you're going to have to do something. Has there been further discussions about what you will do if you become a two-time champion? I I'll army up, and then I'll, I'll see what kind of army they bring, and then we'll go from there. Uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Okay, and you also said recently that uh, you're not very interested in fighting in Nevada anymore. Now that Pat Lundvall is no longer on the commission, A, are you sticking to that stance? And B, did you have anything to do with her leaving? You know, I don't know about the whole Pat Lundvall situation that she got sacked a day after giving the biggest money man in Las Vegas history a fine that's gonna keep him out of sea. I don't know whether that is the reason why she got the sack, I don't know, but look, I'll see, who knows? I love this place, I know that. I know that, so we'll see. Dana got between the two of you, you grabbed the chair, it's easy need to it stand one. there. Does it's he need it one, that's why. Okay, so. You see me grab uh, a chair? I didn't see you grab a chair. That's all I had. Okay, hold on one sec. So Connor, if Dana's not there, what are you gonna do? Not a thing. Co Bounce it off his Head. Dana, I know the uh, WWE is, uh, has dealt with chair shots. Are they allowed? <laughs> oh. Chair shot would be very bad. Connor, there's been a lot of talk about this special announcement that you're teasing for Saturday night. Can you give us a preview of it right now? Don't worry about it. Just buy that pay-per-view twice. If you can't tell us about an announcement, bro, can you tell us about that coat? Yeah. Gucci Mink. This is what confidence looks like. Serious. This is what big Irish look like. Describe your typical day in New York. 
I know you're driving around on a Rolls Royce. Two Rolls. The second Rolls came. We got, we got, we had one Rolls custom made, and then the second Rolls came today. One Rolls for each gold belt. Um, <laughs> I've been just driving around embracing the city. The city has treated me amazingly. I walk out. I'm in, I'm in my own little spot, and then the spot where they're all staying is empty. The fans are all outside my spot. Um, so they've been showing me a lot of love. I've been driving around, having fun, training, shopping, just living my life, preparing for another contest. This is what I do. It's the Mac life. What are you predicting for this fight? You knew it was coming. I predict, I predict I rearrange his face. He's too easily hit. Through all the talk and through all everything else, he can be hit too easily. It's happened to him his whole career. And when you're talking about somebody, somebody with the precision I have, I'm gonna hit him, he's gonna fall. Maybe if his toughness holds up, he'll, he'll survive, but then his face will begin to be a, uh, rearranged. So that's, that's what I predict. What round, Connor? Again, I, I think one round, if, if, if he can hold out and he can drag it into the trenches, I'll take my hat off to him, but he'll never be the same after if that is the case. Assuming you keep your prediction, is there a possible Nate Diaz trilogy match at UFC 209? You know, possibly. Who knows? But I'm the most active guy up here, and that's a fact. So, we'll see. You've been working with Mark Henry now. Tell me, what is it about it that's been clicking with him? What makes working it Working with him a week. He's working with him two weeks. Look, Mark, Mark's the best coach in the game. Two weeks he's training with him. This guy got two jujitsu coaches. Nobody knows why, but Mark's the best in the game, bar none. No one's better. And on Saturday night, our preparation, our plan is set. The execution is upon you all, and what you're about, all about to see it. What about, what about the Black Zillions? What happened with them? Were they not good enough or what? What, what happened with that? You know, exactly, you, know, you know exactly where I'm at at all times. You know, you know where I am. Stan, I'll tell you with me. the Black Zillions, and then you're with this new guy, and this new guy's the best guy. What happened to the last guy? That's all I'm asking. What happened to the last guy? No? Hey, wh where's John Kavanaugh? Why you got another, why you got two jujitsu coaches? Why you got two? I've one jujitsu yeah, coach and many nah, training got partners. A good bad. one, but I've been with my coach since, um, since day one. That bad. You've been with your coach two weeks. Your coach That's is an author. Fact. He's an author of a book. A best-selling book. We do it all. We do it all. It's a bestseller. We're not there, baby. Go ahead, sir. Question, question for Conor McGregor. Conor, you changed your preparations uh, coming up to the Nate Diaz fight to go five rounds against Nate. You're saying this fight is going to be over in one, possibly two rounds. How have you prepared for this fight? Will you be ready for five rounds if Eddie's up for it? Yeah, of course. I certainly believe in my shots. I believe in everything I have here that I will put this man away. But I am prepared for the five rounds. I, I kind of hope it is five rounds because they've, they've, they've discussed the cardio. Uh, as an advantage on his side when, when I completely disagree on that. So if he can make it into the trenches, we'll, we'll go there and we'll see. But I am prepared for five rounds. We'll he see. Out. Out Hold the, the chair. You guys see it? He gassed out right over here two seconds ago. I just one he last question. Out. Hey, that was me. <laughs> I gassed out. Just one last question, Connor. You got to hold the two belts there for a few minutes. How did that feel? It felt very familiar. I've been, I've been two-way world champion a long time now. As it felt familiar to me. Was there a moment in any of your fights in particular, though, that really sealed that for you? Was it maybe the second fight with Nate? Well, what was it? Was there one moment where you even surprised yourself and said, damn it, I'm better than I thought I was? I looked in the mirror this morning. I was like, damn, I'm better than I thought I was last night. <laughs> and I don't know. The, the, all these fights are learning experiences for me. They're very, very enjoyable. Um, I, feel, I feel I learned. I'm very happy already a out of the first one, I was supposed to get the second belt. I would have knocked him clean out, like I said. I'm very happy that I was taking on that detour with Diaz. I got, I got to learn about myself. I got to evolve and go to that next uh, level of my training and, and of my mental belief. And here we are now as a new, a new version of myself once again. What does it mean to you? You know, we've seen the, the Irish hordes, the brilliant fans that travel with you to Vegas all those times. And they're still here with me today, and I'm very, very grateful for that. Blown away. It keeps me coming, coming here and showing, uh, showing up and putting on a performance for my fans. Does it do something extra special to you? You've talked about the electricity that you felt just working out in here yesterday. It, it ran him off the stage before I got here. It does a hell of a lot. And how much does it give you that these guys drowned out your opposition in America? Thank you. My opposition seem to be talking shit all the time, so I'm happy with it. Keep doing it. 
How would you evaluate Eddie in the lead up to the fight, him sort of withstanding your own mental game? Yeah, I feel, I, I feel he's damaged goods. I mean, his career, he's been, he's been damaged big time, but looking at him, he's aged. He looks a bit gaunt. Um, yeah, I'm very happy with it, but at the end of the day, we go in there and we fight, and the shots will land regardless of whether he's feeling good or feeling bad, and my shots do damage, and that's it. Would you like to go to the 170 next or to defend 145 or 155? Yeah, you know, I'm trying to live in the moment right now. This is such a historic event. So much going on in the, in the city, so much buzz. I mean, I'm just trying to enjoy it and embrace it. I'll get the second world title, raise them up consecutively, enjoy the moment, and then we'll go from there. Well, here we go. And here it is for the lightweight championship of the Look world. The Connor pants. against Eddie. It's OK. I'm not gonna... I don't want you guys touching each other. Don't touch it. Touch I up on the Joanna thing, don't, don't. Seriously, seriously, don't.